Welcome everyone. Today's video, I'm going to show you all 24 of the first class royal temples. It's taken me the better part of two years to make it to all of them. I'm going to show you the 10 that are in Bangkok and then the other 14 that are scattered out all over Thailand. All the way up from Chiang Mai over to Nakhon Phanom, all the way down south to Suratani and Nakhon Si Tamarat. You get to see a little bit of the differences. Now the first class royal temples are the best of the best. The only one that's better than them on the the ranking is the Grand Palace, which is a special class. And it is head and shoulders above all of these, even though these are all fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the main features of all of them, and uh, you can look around and uh, enjoy the video. Wat Po is one of the most famous temples in Bangkok and all of Thailand. It was rebuilt by King Rama I on an existing temple site and it has the largest collection of Buddha images in Thailand, as well as a 46 meter long reclining Buddha, giving it the name, the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. Wat Maha Hat was formerly known as Wat Salak. It was built during the Ayutthaya period before Bangkok was the capital. And it's situated between the Grand Palace and the former Front Palace, which was the residence of the Vice King. It's the home of many of the Thai ceremonies and it was given its current name in 1803. Wat Sutat is a temple that was built in 1807 by King Rama I and was completed under the reign of King Rama III in 1847. It was designed to be in the actual center of Bangkok and it has some of the most beautiful architecture you will see out of any of the temples. It also contains a very famous Buddha image that was brought in from Sukhothai. Bawanawet, or Wat Bawan for short, is a royal temple built under the reign of King Rama III, and it features a 50 meter tall golden chedi, as well as a couple famous Buddha images. It also is the final resting place for two of the current dynasty kings, King Rama VI and King Rama IX.
What Raja Pra did is the royal temple. It was built under the reign of King Rama IV. He started construction of this temple in 1864 and it was completed in seven months. The ground that it was on was originally a coffee plantation and the land was too soft so what he did is he hosted a traditional Thai dance and people could come. It was free admission but they had to bring some ceramic vases to donate to the temple and they used that to build a foundation. It features a nice chedi and it currently has the ashes of Rama IV interned at this temple. What Raja Bro Pit is a temple that was built under the reign of King Rama V. The temple features a unique layout with its Weehan and Ubiso joined by a circular courtyard. And inside the circular courtyard is a gilded chedi that stands 43 meters tall, and it's in the Sri Lankan style. Inside the Ubiso is some interesting Italian architecture after King Rama V's visit to Europe. He incorporated that into this temple. Wat Binjama Bopit, also known as Wat Bin by the locals. It means the Monastery of the Fifth King. It was constructed by King Rama V in 1899 after he built his royal palace nearby. It was designed by his half-brother, Prince Naris, and it incorporates the use of some Italian marble. It also contains the ashes of King Rama V. Wat Praha Suri Mahahat is a temple that was constructed in 1941. After its construction, they brought in a Buddha relic from Pakistan, as well as five branches of the Bodhi tree and some soil from various sacred Buddha sites around the world. Wadarun, also known as the Temple of the Dawn, is one of the most iconic temples in all of Thailand. The temple itself is an Ayutthaya era temple that was formerly known as Wat Makok, and it was renamed by King Taksin. The center prong is the main attraction, and it was raised to its current height under the reign of King Rama II.
Wat Racha Ora Soram is a temple that was an Ayutthaya era temple that was renovated by King Rama III when he was the prince. It was the first temple that he renovated and he incorporated a lot of Chinese styling. The temple also has his ashes that are in this hall. The styling with the Chinese influence is the hallmark of Rama III and this was the first temple with that styling built like this in Thailand. What Sina Sanaram is an Ayutthaya era temple that was renovated by King Rama IV. It features two Buddha images that were brought in from Vientiane Lao, and it also has some very intricate murals that were painted under the reign of King Rama V. Wat Suwan Da Ra Ram is an Ayutthaya era temple that was renovated by the father of King Rama I. The temple grounds itself is very beautiful. The buildings are in fantastic condition. It also has a very nice chedi. Inside one of the buildings is some of the most intricate murals that you will see that depict the fighting of King Narai in Burma as well as some other scenes that are very famous to Thai history. Wat Nawit is in Bangpa Inn, just south of Ayutthaya. It was built in 1876 by King Chulong Korn, and it's built in the French Gothic style. So when you see it, it looks more like a church that you would see in Europe as opposed to a royal temple. But instead of having a cross inside, it has a Buddha image. Wat Pra Sorn Kao is a temple that was constructed in 2004. It's the only temple that's built up on a hill. It's on an 830 meter tall peak. It has some very beautiful views from up here. It also incorporates over 5 million colorful mosaic tiles and pottery in the construction.
Wat Suri Safan is a 16th century temple that was in the former Lana Kingdom, which is modern day Chiang Mai. And it was built under the reign of the Mankurai Dynasty. It's the only all silver temple in Thailand. The pieces of silver or aluminum that you see are all hand stamped. And in addition to the temple, there's a local workshop where the local artisans stamp all of these by hand and you can stop and see that as well as the temple. Wat Praha Putta Bat is a temple built in Saraburi. It was constructed in 1624 by the king of Ayutthaya, King Songtam. And what happened was a hunter was out and he found a Buddha footprint on a hill. And he went back and he reported his finding to the king. And the king immediately dispatched soldiers to guard the Buddha footprint and they built a moon drop. This is a very famous site and it's a pilgrimage for the Thai kings to come and make merit at the Buddha footprint itself. Wat Yan is a temple built in Chanburi. It was established in 1976 by then King Rama IX, and it covers an area of 145 acres. The temple complex itself is a replica of the Mahabodhi Temple in India, and most of the buildings are erected in honor of the Thai royal family. Wat Pra Tat Panon is an ancient temple that is believed to have originally been constructed in 525 BC, but archaeologists have never been able to find any buildings older than the 7th or the 8th century. The temple itself is quite beautiful with the Lao style chedi that is at a height of 57 meters. The chedi itself was destroyed in an earthquake in 1975, but is rebuilt and is in the current condition you see it now. Wat Pra Sing is a temple that was originally constructed in 1345 by King Pai Yu, the fifth king of the Mankrai dynasty. The temple itself is believed 
to have been constructed over the top of a very famous Buddha image. The Buddha image is the Pra Buddha Shing, and they were transporting the Buddha image and the cart it was on broke down, so they supposedly built this temple right over the top. Of Wat Pra Tat Hari Pun Chai is a temple that has its origins back in 897 when King Aratayarat of the Raman dynasty who ruled Lampun, he built a gold urn covered with relics inside that they would since have built buildings over the top of. The temple itself dates into the 11th century and it features a 46 meter tall chedi that is quite beautiful. Wat Pra Sri Ratana Mahahat is in Pisonaluk. It's about five hours north of Bangkok. The temple itself is known as Wat Yai, and it was founded in 1357 by the Sukhothai king Letai. It features a Khmer style prong, as well as what they say is the most beautiful Buddha image in all of Thailand. The Buddha image has a name, it's Pra Puta Chanarat. Pra Patom Chedi stands at 120 meters tall. It's the largest Buddha monument in the world. Its origins date back to the third century when one of the Indian emperors, Ashoka, decided to send monks out to spread Buddhism into other parts of Asia. The Chedi itself is modeled after the great stupa of Sanchai in central India. Wat Pra Mahahat Wari Warihan is a temple that was constructed in the 13th century by the king of Nakom Si Tamarat, King Siri Damrang Sakaraj, and it supposedly houses a tooth of the Buddha. The temple itself is on the UNESCO World Heritage Site tentative list.
Wat Pra Boro Ram Tat Chaya is an 8th century Javanese style temple. It's the only remaining temple in this style that is left in Thailand. The temple itself was first constructed out of brick and vegetable mortar about 1200 years ago. It's been restored to the condition that you see now. There's also a museum that's on the site that has a lot of the historic relics that have been found in the area. So that finishes up a video of all of the first class temples here in Thailand, all 24 of them. I just showed you a quick little snip of them. I've put them all in to uh, my playlist. So if you want to see more like the individual videos I've done of each temple, then uh, go open up the playlist and you can uh, click on them and see more of each one of these temples. These are the first class temples. They're the special ones in Thailand. They get extra money from the royal family and uh, they are a step above. There's first class, second class, third class, and then they have different other uh, rating system of them. And then they have this special class, which is Wat Per Cow, which is above all of them. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, let me know if you've been to any of these or which one was your favorite. I know which one my favorite was, so you tell me which one your favorite is, and uh, I would like to know. So until next time, remember guys, life is a journey. Enjoy. Enjoy.